Good morning, my dear children. Today we will uh, restart Marchand of Venice, and we have completed till uh, line number eighty-six, most probably, uh, or eighty-four. So from the next line, we'll start. And in this passage, what we have seen that Bassanio is uh, propagating about the difference between appearance and reality. What we have seen that what appears can be correct all the time. and what does not appear what does not appear may be correct hmm. so he is very <coughs> keen in understanding the difference between understanding the difference among the caskets he just uh, caught that hint clearly which hint uh, that uh, song as i told you and immediately he has started speaking about the differences <clears throat> so you can understand this uh, Bassanio is a man of uh, keen and sheer intelligence, especially a clever fellow. Now, last what did he say that many cowards who are chicken-hearted people, those chicken-hearted people, those people they grow the the their beard, they grow the length of their beard just like Hercules and Mars, both of them used to have beard. only only to prove apparently that they are brave but if you search inwardly if you make one investigation what will you find these are the man these are the people of no value of no strength at all so this is only appearance they appear to be brave but in reality they are of no value they are hopeless people <coughs> beard of hercules and frowning mars frowning means uh, annoyed or angry who inward search have livers white as milk if they are search inwardly if they are search properly from inside what will you find you will find their livers as white as milk if you look at your right hand side one description is given of liver white as milk that people <coughs> uh, of, uh, who are having red color liver they are very strong according to elizabethan thought but we will not go to that critical explanation instead we will take one easy easy term that those people who keep beard like hercules and mars if they are searched properly if they are investigated properly what will you find they are people of no strength so livers white as milk means people of no strength at all in reality hopeless people or chicken hearted people any of these three you can take and these assume this mean these people assume but velour excrement excrement to render them read out it velour excrement is the outgrowth uh, of beard hmm. <coughs> and then it is given uh, velour's excrement velour means that uh, here hair h a i r hair especially the beard excrement means increment in length increase in length to render them that means to present them <coughs> read out it that means without any doubt a strong person so these people what is the paraphrasing of this line that these people hmm, they increase the length they assume but velour's excrement that means they increase the length of their hair the beard increase the length of their beard only to prove that they are people of great strength to prove that to render that that means to present in front of people that they are people of great strength so this is apparently they are proving that they are strong but in reality they are not at all strong they are people of no value no strength no hopes so first term what we have seen about legal system then you have got religion then you have got about strength now next we are going to look at beauty look on beauty which there in works a miracle in nature look on beauty look at beauty if you look at these people especially the ladies they pretend to be beautiful because they use extreme amount of makeup but without makeup they are the people of no beauty they are the people they are the ladies 
of no look at all look on beauty you shall see it is purchased by the wit so nowadays beauty is purchased it is not god gifted people use makeup to prove themselves beautiful so it is that is how it is written the beauty is purchased it is not god gifted so purchase is the opposite term of god gifted by the weight hair weight means the weight of makeup so it is a long <clears throat> it is a historical effect since a long time people use makeup to prove themselves apparently beautiful but in reality they are not at all beautiful beauty is somewhat god gifted what god has given that is beautiful whatever you are or i am that is beautiful there is no need of uh, using any kind of makeup which there in works a miracle in nature which means the makeup makeup sometimes works as miracle in nature because it change it changes the creation of nature a nature creates a human being with uh, some sort of beauty some sort of ugliness and all these things but this makeup what they do they are miraculous thing they are extremely miracle why because they change the look that is given by god that is why it is written which there in that means this makeup work as miracle in nature because it changes the natural look making them lightest that were most of it those people who use most amount of it means makeup they look the lightest that means most beautiful this line contains verbal irony first of all the meaning of this line is those people use maximum amount of makeup they look better they look more beautiful and the second term is that those people who use maker uh, th- those people who use makeup they are morally light that means they are immoral people so here we have got a verbal irony first it means the people who use makeup they look the most beautiful those people who use the maximum most amount of it means makeup they look the lightest that means very fair and handsome or beautiful but uh, ironically the term shows what this is having ambiguous meaning two meaning the second meaning is that those people who use the maximum the most amount of makeup they are the lightest people that means they are morally rotten they are morally spoiled or they are immoral people <coughs> if you find any kind of difficulties in understanding this video do ask that one every time i am writing that one that you can ask in whatsapp also so do ask that one whatsapp it is easier to answer than answering in comment box next <clears throat> and while you mention the line number that sir i did not understand this line kindly write that line kindly write that line or take the picture of that line and send in whatsapp that will be easier for me to write because all the time i don't have book in my hand so exactly to open the book and get that line it is really difficult so instead you take the photo of that line and send i'm promising you i'll send you back the answer <clears throat> making them light as that were most of it most of it means most amount of makeup <clears throat> so are those creeps snaky golden locks so are those creeps means curled snaky that means look like a snake you know that snake looks like meander meander means zigzag that web uh, that uh, that picture of web the drawing of web we have seen that that is zigzag in shape so <clears throat> so are those creep snaky golden locks to so shake your curl locks look at those locks which makes which make such wanton gamble with the wind wanton means cheerful wanton means cheerful it is given lively you can write that one also gamble means a game if you look at the locks of those ladies they make locks out of the natural way here and when the wind blows and when the wind blows the wind plays cheerfully with what with their hair so such wanton gamble with the wind when the wind blows the locks play cheerfully with their <coughs> hair it looks really beautiful when a beautiful lady uh, standing in front of cross wind cross wind means there is no particular direction of the wind 
and the hair that is uh, just uh, hair is flowing in the wind that is just blown away by the wind that looks really beautiful but if we look carefully these are not the real hair the hair that is playing with the wind that is not real hair that is the gift of someone else that means they are using wig w i g w i g <coughs> upon supposed fairness that means upon means the locks which are hanging upon supposed fairness that means great beauty the locks locks are not going to found not going to be found in anywhere actually these are the beauty of our head that covers our head so the locks which are hanging on supposed fairness that means extreme beautiful face playing with the easy wind often known to be the drawery of the second head often we come to know what that the hair the locks are the drawery that means gift of a second head that means the hair is not original that hair is the gift of another one that means that is wig w i g that means artificial hair that means these ladies use artificial hair to look to prove themselves to apparently prove themselves they are very beautiful <clears throat> the skull that braid them the skull that means the head that braid them that means grew them means the hair grew the hair is in sepulture sepulture means is in grave that means that lady who grew that actual hair is long dead she is in grave and that hair is now used by someone else to prove herself beautiful thus ornament underline this line thus ornament line number 99 and 100 thus ornament is but the gilded sword therefore ornament is what is nothing but the gilded sword that means beautifully decorated sea shore or sea beach to a most dangerous sea but when you go to the sea what is it the sea is extremely dangerous so by seeing the beautiful sea shore we see how beautiful sea beach it is we enjoy the sea beach we play there we enjoy the beauty of nature but when we leave the sea beach and go deep into the sea what will you find we will find the disaster the great dangerous sea waves huge waves storms thunderstorms as well as rocks and further dangerous things so by looking at someone's uh, beauty you cannot judge the people just like by seeing the beautiful shore you cannot judge how dangerous the sea is we think the sea is very beautiful but not at all it is extremely dangerous <coughs> to a most dangerous sea the beautiful scarf that means beautiful scarf scarf we all used to cover just like muffler scarf or uh, that veil v e i l veiling an indian beauty veiling means covering an indian beauty here indian beauty means black beauty here shakespeare is little biased here indian does not mean our east india we are east indies people here shakespeare is mentioning west indies west indies are caribbean people so those don't misunderstand that shakespeare is hinting the indian as the dark people here the dark people is a uh, Uh, dark people are those people who are from uh, <coughs> who are from caribbean islands or uh, west indies so outward beauty is like what is like scarf beautiful scarf but when you open the scarf what is inside ugly looking lady inside this line while i i first i'll ask pardon while mentioning black as bad it is not at all it is little bit uh, Uh, controversial as well as discriminative term we have seen throughout this drama discrimination is prevalent so nothing special in it but we should uh, go against this very term dark does not mean black our hair is black the universe is black so it is kind of discriminative term so when you open the veil what will you find indian beauty instead of white fair a uh, western ladies you will find indian beauty just that is appearance and reality appearance it is very beautiful scarf appearance it is very beautiful uh, the seashore 
appearance is what is nothing but the makeup but in reality what what ugly looking lady reality is what the dangerous see these are the reality in a world the seeming truth which cunning times put on to entrap the wisest let us see what is written it is written here that a cunning time that means cunning people what do they do cunning means clever people what they do the uh, the seeming truth which cunning times once more let us read seeming truth means the false appearance of truth that means what is not true half true or not at all true put on that means they apply on their outside to entrap the wises that means to trap or capture the wise people so the cunning people means cunning times that means cunning people or clever people they put on that means they wear on their outer part what they seeming truth that means that is half truth or false they wear falsehood they are evil from inside poison from inside but they keep smile on their face only to do what only to entrap the wise people we wise those people who are wise they get totally entrapped with this falsehood therefore you gaudy gold hard food for meters here is the conclusion according to basanio gold is gaudy it is written there you can see the meaning provided here soy so hmm floppies <clears throat> therefore you gaudy gold that means gold is only having outward beauty hard food for meters you know that story of meters hmm and uh, meters was a king what happened to him he was uh, blessed by apollo that whatever he would touch that will get transformed into there is going to be uh, be gold whatever he will touch that will be gold first he touched his uh, palace that was that got transformed into gold golden palace later he touched some other things so those things got transformed into gold he touched his daughter he touched his wife everything got transformed into gold even he touched his food to eat and the food got transformed into gold one can wear gold but cannot eat gold gold cannot fulfill your stomach that is why it is written hard food for meters that is gold made what meters happy no meters sad by spoiling his food i will none of thee that means i am not for you i am not for you nor none of thee <coughs> neither you are none for me as it is written here you can see what is written here just a minute that means i will not have anything to do with you that means i am nothing for you in the same way you are nothing for me you pale and come and drudge between you pale and come and drudge between uh, twin it is written between but man and man meaning is written referring to the common silver coin that kept passing from person to person no need to go through that one gold is somewhat all want to acquire gold everyone's desire is gold so all fight to get the gold that is a common drudge that means a common hatred a common reasons for fight between man and man so gold is something for what the enter civilization enter humanity fights a common drudge a common reason of fight hatred between man and man but you meager late that is you valueless valueless late which rather threatens than dust promise ought it threatens the look of lady is threatening then do promise ought then it promises anything so it promises nothing in streets it is threatened thy paleness that means darkness moves me that means surprises me or attracts me more than eloquence more than your beauty and here choose i joy be the consequence and here i am going to choose the leaden casket and what will be the result basanio very confidently saying that let joy will be the consequence that means happiness and triumph and victory and success will be the result so we have completed till line number 109 and we have started from which line we have started from line number 86 87 
88. So from 88 to line number 109. Next time uh, we will start the chapter uh, that uh, little magical. Hopefully you have no doubt. If you find any doubt, do ask that one. Feel free to ask that one. If you have any doubt in understanding this one. Thank you dear children. Thank you very much. Go through this topic clearly.